Let's talk about dotted rhythms. This is a half note, and it is worth two counts. When we add a dot to the half note, it adds one beat. The reason for this is one is half of the original value of two. We end up with a three count dotted half note. A whole note is worth four counts. So adding a dot here would add two counts, since two is half of four. A quarter note is worth one count. So adding a dot here adds a half count. We end up with a one and a half count dotted quarter note. At first you will see a dotted quarter followed by this note, which is a single eighth note. It lasts for half a beat. These two notes together equal two beats. So if you have these notes at the beginning of a measure, the next note or rest will happen on beat three. This rhythm is counted one and three. Moving the dotted quarter eighth rhythm to the end of the measure gives us one, two, three, and one. Putting the dotted rhythm in the middle of the measure would give us one, two, and four. A rest after the eighth note can feel tricky, but the rhythm is counted with the same approach. This is counted one and four. Dotted rhythms can take some time to get used to, but with enough practice you will get a good feel for them. For more rhythm videos and free access to these presentation slides, go to amplifiedwarmups.com tutorials.